Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a story for the ages. I got to tell y'all, that is a beautiful baby boy that I see on the screen. Unfortunately, this baby has suffered at the hands of a man that should have never have had access to this baby boy. This man, if I'm not mistaken, is the father of that baby boy that you see right there. Beautiful, smiling, chunky face little baby boy. That little boy's name is Diego. Diego Alexander Jones, 18 months old. The catch is when you say Diego, it's not D-I-E-G-O. It's actually, they spelled his name. The mom spelled his name, trying to be unique, like a lot of hood folks do. D-E-E apostrophe A-G-O. Like it looks like D-A-G-O, but it's D-A-G-O. When, even when I looked at it, I was like, the hell does that say? Diego, cute name, but why do we got to spell everything so freaking, why do we have to make life so difficult for, it, for ourselves, for our children? I just think that, look at it like this. Let me say this real quick. I hope y'all don't mind. This is the AFC. We advocate for children first. Let's talk about our children. If we know that we had a hard knock life for us, it's a hard knock life for us. If we grew up and times were hard for us, why should we not want to make it just a little bit easier for our children? Don't you think? If we knew that we went through uh, whatever it is, whether we went through bigotry or racism or whatever it is that, that we feel like we went through, then why would we not make things just a little bit easier for our children? Dress them appropriately, have them talk appropriately, have them learn, have them go to school, have them you know, maybe invest in our schools, have some good books, some good facilities, some good teachers, some good food. <coughs> McDonald's, <coughs> Burger King, <coughs> Wendy's, <coughs> Sonic. <coughs> Woo. Maybe stop feeding our kids bull crap food. If they say that food is the fuel to your body, then why do we continue to put trash inside of our children's bodies? I digress. We'll come back to it. A 23 year old father, if you could even call him that, I want y'all to look at the neck tattoos. He's got a tattoo on the side of his head right there. I don't know if y'all can see that because you also see those little splotches there. That's actually where hair was trying to grow in the middle of his head. I guess hair grows like in the middle of his face and he was getting his edge up done in a way that I guess, I guess he had had a haircut in a while. Like, like that boy rolled out, out of a, out of a moving vehicle on top of his head or something. Thug, T-H-U-G, not based on his skin color, but based on his actions. Okay. 23 years old, Shane Zachary Flowers, was arrested by the Torrance Police Department and booked by the Los Angeles Police Department on suspicion of child abuse resulting in death, stemming from his own infant child dying allegedly because of his hands. Diego Alexander Jones, that's the baby boy's name. Let me see if I can get his, look at that. Look at the cute little baby. And I'm going to tell you something, shout out to the mom and shout out to the people that think you can look at a person and create a cute baby. You look at that dude's face and then you look at the mom and you think they're going to produce something that's going to end up being in the higher percentile of what we consider to be, I guess, cute. He's a beautiful baby boy. But at what cost? Do you produce these children with dudes who have nothing going on, not working a job, not a reputable character, probably have a criminal record as long as a mile? Like maybe, maybe, maybe in a gang, like who knows what this dude is doing. But I'm gonna tell you, just from the look of it, just from the surface, the, do the dude don't look like and he's 23 years old. 
don't look like he's doing anything positive with his life prior to this. I'm calling it out. That little boy, 18 months old, was reportedly found at the Rosa Bell Motel. The Rosa Bell Motel in South Los Angeles. Police arrived at the scene Tuesday morning and found the baby not breathing and unconscious. He was rushed to a hospital, said to be in medical distress, according to the news, and pronounced dead upon arrival to the hospital. I have a question. Maybe somebody can tell me. What would be the point of having this baby at a hotel? Why would this baby and this so-called man be at a hotel? Were they living there? Were they just visiting? To be honest with you, I don't have the answers. But here's what I can tell you what I believe. I believe that this dude was probably living out of that hotel and had his son over there. I'm sure that mom knew about it and said, you know what? That's my baby daddy. He can be around his kid. But the Rosa Bell Motel, I don't even know what the hell that is. I've never heard of it, nor would I ever go there. Let me see if I can look it up real quick. Rosa Bell Motel. Let's see. Los Angeles. $79 a night. That sound about right? I don't, I don't know if they have a website. Let me see. Woo, boy. I don't know if they've renovated. Well, I've seen worse. I'm looking at the pictures. It doesn't look horrible, but I've, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I was getting ready to crap on the hotel, but I've definitely seen worse. This could be like a lower tier. Let me see if I can uh, find what the rates are. Yeah, about $79, $82 a night. So that's about right. That's pretty standard. So let me not crap on the hotel. But it sounds like that this dude was probably living there. I don't know if he was getting a check to stay there or something. I'm not really sure how that works. But nonetheless, he was at a hotel with his son. Now reported by the news, the baby's mom by the name of Rihanna Jones said that Flowers tripped over his video game controller while at the motel. Have y'all noticed a trend just since last week? How many stories we've done where babies have been murdered and somehow there's always a video game or video game controller involved. Like I've done like three stories and we still have a fourth one to go tonight that has to do with video games. Y'all not noticed that just in the past seven days. He tripped over his video game controller. That's what he told the mom. She said he then punched the child and caused him to fall and hit his head, his own son, that beautiful baby boy on the right-hand side. That's what he did to his son. He told me that he didn't think he hit him that hard for him to die, for him to pass away. And I kept telling him to stop hitting my son. And every time I told him to stop, I got the outcome. I was getting beat up. <sighs> Jones said that Flowers admitted to killing his son and said she gave police information that led him to let them to Flowers. If you guys are in an abusive relationship, then I suggest you leave because this out this is the outcome I got. My baby gone because of him, said the mother. According to the news, Flowers had been arrested multiple times before. So I was right. This is according to the news. Go look up my source. Go look it up yourself. They are saying 
that this thug has been arrested multiple times before. Remember when I told y'all that I said that he probably has a criminal record that's about a mile long? You remember me saying that? You remember when I said that he's probably not a law-abiding citizen? You remember when I said that? Yeah. Well, check this out. Multiple arrests. The news site alleges that he was arrested in August of 2016 for stealing a car. He was arrested in November of 2017 for assault. He was arrested in September of 2019 for unlawful possession of a firearm and last April for domestic assault in the second degree. That is a career criminal. 2016, 2017, 2019, and 2020. Back to back to back to back to back. That's a bad choice maker. The news website also reports that South Los Angeles, where the Rosabella Motel is located, oh wow, has an F rating when it comes to the crime. F as in Frank. It says that the Rosabella, the Rosabelle Motel has an F, the letter F. It has a F rating when it comes to crime. According to the site, which it says it is using 2019 FBI data released last year, total crime is 86% higher than the national average. The area's violent crime rate is almost 350% higher than the national average and property crime is 39% higher than the average in America. And just as soon as I was trying to get this weak ass hotel a little bit of credit, they turn around and release the statistics. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? But let me go ahead and give you guys the fair usage. Let me let y'all listen to the news videos before I give you my closing thoughts. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. A child found not breathing who later died at the hospital has been identified. Now police are looking for the father of 18-year-old Diego Alexander Jones. They say 23-year-old Shane Zachary Flowers is a person of interest in the case. Yesterday, officers responded to a 911 call of a death investigation involving a child at a motel in South L.A. Jones was found unconscious and not breathing. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Circumstances surrounding his death have not been released. And homicide detectives are trying to figure out what led up to a woman being stabbed to death. She was found dead inside a home on the 7300 block of Metalhia Avenue in Van Nuys. Her identity is not being released just yet. The police will only see that she was in her early 40s. They've detained someone they're calling a person of interest. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great AP. Homicide detectives trying to figure out how a toddler ended up dead. That child was found in a motel room in South L.A. NBC4's John Caddy's Kleemak spoke with the neighbors who saw the emergency crews as they responded to the scene. I just saw ambulance coming out with the, with the baby on, hand, on his hands. You saw the baby? Yeah, I saw the baby and then uh, they took him right away. The Rosa Bell Motel at 56 in Western South L.A. Today, it's quiet. But yesterday morning, LAPD officers, detectives, crying relatives, a death investigation of a 17-month-old baby boy. Everything just happened so quick. Mom was crying. Jorge Serrano works at the auto body shop across the street and shared this surveillance video of emergency crews arriving just before noon yesterday. He stepped outside to watch the commotion. And then I talked to one of the managers at the hotel that the baby had passed away for strangling and uh, hit in the stomach. The LA County coroner says Diego Alexander Jones of Torrance was pronounced dead at the hospital. Cause of death so far undetermined. LAPD says no one is in custody. Sad because I have my own kids so to see stuff like that kind of gave me the chills, you know. 
Now, LAPD says they have a special unit on this case. It's called the Abused Child Unit. They are trained specifically in cases like these, but they won't say whether there was any obvious signs of trauma to that little boy. Also, as to mom and dad, LAPD not saying whether they were involved or not. Reporting from South LA, I'm John Cathy's Klimak, NBC4 News. This is video of him getting arrested. It's a little bit stretched out. It's only like a minute or two long. I just want y'all to see this. By the way, if you guys are watching, do me a favor and please click that thumbs up. Please help share these videos, okay? I think this, he's being accused of killing his son. Killing his son? How yeah. did you get that? I just heard him scream out, I didn't kill my son. And one of the ladies just screamed, how can you do this? He was just a baby. I guess they were trying to record video of his arrest. Even if I stretched it out, it'd still be a little hard to see, I think. Oh, there they go. There they go. Oh, he was on the ground. Okay, I see it. I just pulled up right now. I don't know what. I haven't seen no child at all. I see the way they bent down there at the curb. I haven't seen no paramedics or anything. Yeah, that's true. Well, I got some of them down there. Right there. Oh, yeah, they got a suspect there. He's, they just handcuffed him. There it is, right there. <clears throat> Y'all can kind of see it, even though the video is a little bit squished. For the most part, you can you can understand and see what's going on there. But let me give you guys my closing thoughts. Again, I absolutely believe that the mom knew that this boy, because he ain't a man. I felt like she knew that he was a thug. They probably feel like this life this lifestyle is attractive. This fast money is attractive. This bad boy behavior is attractive. But here's what I want women like this mother to think about because she's young and she might get a second chance in life to try to do right by some children because she damn sure didn't hear. And I'm just being flat out honest, okay? I feel like she picked the worst possible person to be a father. That is, as somebody who has no direction, no ambition, and probably no father at home. What does he know about being a man or a father? Not anything. He knows about how to be good at procreating. He probably done watched every porno video there is out there. Probably didn't been exposed to more sex than a little bit. And was able to engage her. To deal with her and her emotions and know where her soft sides are. No pun intended. She liked him. And she felt like that would be a good match to procreate and bring a baby into this world, here's what I will never agree with. Just because you enjoy being in a relationship with somebody does not quantify you to procreate with them. That does not quantify as being somebody who is a reputable person to have a baby by. Does that make sense? Is it possible to be in a relationship with somebody 
and and be with them and not make children? Is it possible to be respect to be responsible and respectful of your womb? Is that too much to ask? Why do we hold mothers in such reverence? And shout out to my mothers in the chat. They don't get offended because they understand. It's the people on the outside, the people who are not subscribed to my channel that keep complaining. The responsible women, the young ones, and the ones my age, and those maybe a little bit older, everybody understands this because this is common sense. But we have too many people who are just out breeding us. That's simply what it is. These fools are breeding like jackrabbits with thugs, having babies with ain't shit niggers. That's the truth. You had these beautiful babies, but when these babies don't have a positive figure in their life to know what to grow up and become, what do they do? They end up being a burden on society. They end up filling up your private prisons. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? They don't go to school to learn. They don't go to school to better themselves. They don't grow up to be productive members of society, to learn how to get their own. They always come with their hand out, expecting for you to give. And if you won't give, then they take it from you. Why do you think this hotel has such a high violence rate, especially for vehicles? They be out there breaking and stealing people's property and shit. They steal and take because they don't value themselves. Therefore, they go out into the world and they don't value anybody else. Don't get mad about what I'm talking about. Don't get mad talking about, oh, you such a coon. You shouldn't be exposing this to the world and speaking against your people. Let me tell you, MF or something, that believe that these are my people. Let me tell y'all something. Baby murderers are not my people. Not a chance in hell. Baby murderers, y'all can type that in the chat. It's a live chat. Y'all can type it in the chat. Type it in the chat. Baby murderers are not my people. Baby abusers are not my people. Baby kidnappers, baby rapists. Anybody who would hurt, murder, and abuse our children, our innocent children who cannot speak for themselves nor defend themselves against the tyranny of their caretakers and their custodial parents' bad decisions is not my people. That fool ain't my people. And I hope whatever prison he ends up in, maybe some of the OGs will let this fool know that how he got down and treated his own son, that baby that couldn't do a thing to defend himself, let him know what it feels like to not be able to defend yourself. Because he deserves every bit of that. And there's a special place in hell for that dude who has a made up hairline and tattoos on his face and neck. He's a baby murderer. He should be marked as that. But hurting this beautiful baby boy, Diego, couldn't speak for himself. And this little boy looks like he's the sweetest baby, just like any and all children. I believe that all ch children, all babies are innocent and they all should be protected. So let me say this and get this fool off my screen. To the mom, you see how she kissy face all in the camera y'all know what that is y'all know what that means y'all know what the tattoo in the middle of the chest means you know what this colorful bull crap in her head y'all know what all of that means y'all know what all of that means all i'm asking is that you correct your behavior and correct your decision making and correct who you procreate with or just don't procreate She's talking about, well, it's hard to get out of an abusive relationship. It's not. If you go pick up a thug lion from the thug zoo, it's going to be a violent MFing creature. That's what it does. Here's what I don't also don't understand. I don't understand how chicks like this mother 
Love them a thug. Love them a gangbanger. Love them a dude out there slanging them things. Out there getting it in. Putting in work in the street. Out there putting it down with the homies. Putting in work. Catching bodies. He's respected on the street. Don't nobody mess with him because everybody's scared of him. And he wants everybody to bow down to him. Why do you think, what, why do these young women think that those men won't turn on them? Can anybody in the chat answer that or leave that? Or you can leave a comment in the comment section. That is a message for my young girls ages 13 all the way up to 19 to 25 years old. All in that, all in that age range where y'all are starting to interact with these thugs. What makes you think he won't use his gravitas against you? Think about that for a moment. All of the things that you like him doing to everybody else, he's going to do to you. And when he does, and you have children, then expect for there to be a bad outcome to happen or change your decision or make your bed and, li and, and lay in it. I'm DJ Just J with the AFC. Or I'm trying to wake y'all the hell up. Listen, like, share, subscribe, share these videos. We're trying to save lives. That's what we're trying to do out here. We hope to get justice against this fool and for that baby.